we'll guide you through how to make a YouTube thumbnail in CapCut. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, open up CapCut and then go to the edit page in the bottom left and click on new project. And at the top here, go and click on photos because of course we're making a YouTube thumbnail. So firstly, you need to go and choose your background image for your thumbnail. In this case here, I've just got a bit of a white background here, which I want to use, but we can go and change the color of that. So choose the background for your thumbnail and click on it in the top right and then go and click on add just like so and here it is. So first of all we need to go and change the format of this because a YouTube thumbnail format or aspect ratio is 16 by 9. So come to the bottom make sure nothing is selected click on ratio and go and click on 16 by 9 just here like that and click on the tick. Then what we can do is go and resize the background so go and click on it and then you can just go and pinch it in the preview you can spin it around by pinching it as well and then let's go and resize it so it takes up the entire space like that. And then what you want to do is click on the back button in the bottom left. And if you want to go and change the color of this background, then go and click on edit. And to go and change the color of the background, just go and click on it like so. And then scroll across here and scroll across to adjust and go and click on it. Then what you want to do is you can go and change all of these different things here. So let's go and start with hue. So I'll go and click here. And then as you can see, I can go and drag it across. I can go and change the color. And you can also go to temperature as well and adjust that as well, which will also go and affect the color. So you can go through these different adjustments and go and get the color to how you want it. And when you're happy with it, click on the tick in the bottom right. So now what we want to do is go and start to add another image on top of it. So go and press on the back button in the bottom left to unselect it. And what you want to do is click on overlay, click on add overlay, and then make sure photos is selected and choose what you want to add next to your thumbnail. In this case, I want to go and add this picture here of me. So go and click on it in the top right and click on add in the bottom right. And there I am. So now what we need to do is go and remove the background. So to go and do that, make sure it's selected and then scroll across in the bottom and click on cut out and then click on remove background. And as you can see, the background is removed. Super simple. Then I'll go and press on the tick in the bottom right like so. And then I can go and adjust the size of me. So just go and pinch it and go and get it to the size you want it to be. So for example, I may want it to go and be just like that. And by the way, when you go and click on back, your timeline may then shrink. All you need to do is go and click on the overlay, that sort of droplet icon just in the timeline, and then it will open it back up. And now what I want to do is just go and make this a bit brighter. So all I'm gonna do is scroll across here and go and click on adjust and then click on brightness. And what I'm gonna do is just increase it a bit like so, as otherwise it's looking a bit dark. Then I'll go and press on the tick in the bottom right, and that's definitely looking better. Next, I want to go and add some text. So I'll click on the back button in the bottom left a couple of times, and then click on text, and I'll click on add text. And now I'll go and type in what I want to do. After you've typed in, you can then go and choose the font, you can go and choose the style, you know, what sort of the default things you can do with CapCut. What I've done here is gone and added a background, so I'll then go and press on the tick button in the top right, and then I'll go and position it correctly. And to add more text, you can go through that process again of clicking add text, or you can click on that duplicate button in the bottom left of the text there, and it will then go and make another copy of it. We can then drag the other one down, and then you can tap on it and you can type in what it says. So I could then go and type in thumbnail. And once again, if you want to go and select the text again, then just go and click on text at the bottom of CapCut, and it then will show you the layers and you can go and adjust them. So now what I want to do is just quickly go and move the text up because I want to go and add a final logo to this thumbnail. And to do that, I'll go and click on the back button in the bottom left, click on overlay, and then click on add overlay. And I want to go and add my logo. So I'll select it in the top right of the image and press on add, and there it is. And then what I'll do is just go and resize it so I can go and get it fitting in here. And so that's it. Of course, you can go and do much more. There are so many tools in CapCut, but I hope I've covered the basics and you can go and build off that. And now what you want to do is go and save this image to your phone so you can then use it on YouTube. And to save it, all you want to do is make sure you've positioned the playback so you can go and get everything which you've added. So I'll make sure I've got my logo. Then take a screenshot and then we can go and crop the screenshot. So I'll go and click on it and then I'll go and crop out everything but the thumbnail just like so. Then I can go and press on done in the top left and go and save it to my photos. And now we can go and upload it to YouTube. So you can go and add it when you're uploading a video or you can go and open up your YouTube studio and you can then find the video which you want to add it to and you can go and edit it and add it. So that's it. That is how you can make thumbnails in CapCut.